a quick orientation of the some of the major um, the major areas of my learning so that when you first log on you can navigate around reasonably comfortably. If you're not already viewing this in um, dashboard it's worth changing to dashboard the, this is the view and to do that you just go to options theme and just make sure that you're viewing in a dashboard format it just slightly moves where um, it slightly alters the layout of it just so we're all talking about the same thing um, so on the dashboard this area here is a good area to start with and it, uh, this has shortcuts to some of the main bits um, first of all if I just have a quick look down here at school now school is the area that only the administrator can um, alter and edit this is the area um, in which the administrator can put information resources stuff that's going to be visible to absolutely everybody who logs onto the system whether that be students teachers and parents um, most users won't have access to edit stuff here so anything they want in this area will have to go through the uh, through the administrator here's a good button up here uh, this is the home button and I think you can guess where that one takes you um, under school the next area to be aware of is this one classes now classes this is where the information that's taken from CMIS um, automatically populates all of your teaching groups so any teaching groups that you have listed on CMIS um, this is where they should come they should be already populated and these are basically areas where you can put files resources these would be things that would be specific to that actual class you've got various options um, here these can be viewed as just a, a file area or they can be actually viewed as a website but that's a sort of separate issue so these are pre-populated um, stuff to do with individual classes go back home the next one is learning spaces now learning spaces are they can be created by any teacher um, and learning spaces are going to be predominantly department areas like here for example we've just set up a music one um, every department will have a, a learning space and within that it can be as, as vast as you want it to be once again they can be viewed as um, just folder structures if I just go into here quickly you can just view it as the files See, just full of resources and this can obviously be um, be as, as big as you want inside TARDIS like but it can also be viewed um, as a website now this might be slightly down the road but it's um, it's slightly nicer to look at and you can give your pupils access to all your information and resources but from a, a slightly more viewer friendly um, website view so for example here there's a here's a music one and within it you can allow them access to resources you can put in things called file browsers here's an example down here so all that is really it's showing you a folder uh, but it just gives you access to it through the website so those are learning spaces predominantly um, sort of academic subject based things um, but that is up to you know individual schools to to set up teachers can also set up learning spaces um, they can be opened up to everybody or probably more handily they can be opened up to specific groups of people so for example if I had an orchestra I would only open it up to those uh, those people involved and therefore uh, they would only those guys would see it so it would just avoid everything becoming too cluttered so that's classes school and learning spaces the next one down is friends groups now friends groups to be honest are exactly the same creature as a learning space however it's just given a different title to try and differentiate it a little bit from the um, to the more academic learning space you can do exactly the same things with both with both and the difference is pupils can also set up friends groups um, so they could um, they could set up you know an interest group a hobby group um, or it could be something obviously tied into the curriculum but pupils can create those themselves as can teachers um, the content library here just gives you access to some of the other things that are available through my learning for example just as an example you've got a YouTube browser here uh, the benefit of this YouTube browser is it doesn't have any of the tags or sorry not tags it doesn't have any of the comments on which if you tend to be browsing in a classroom situation can obviously uh, 
can give you a nasty surprise up on the whiteboard. So if I just do a search, for example, for guitar, you get the same stuff as you would through normal YouTube, but what you haven't got is um, the tags that come with it. You just actually get the, the video itself. Without any of the stuff that would uh, perhaps put you off underneath. So it's a little bit safer for use in the classroom. Um, so this is one way of accessing these, uh, these quite important areas. Another way is actually along these buttons at the top here. I've just run through these quickly. Um, if you want, when it comes to classes, learning spaces, friends groups, if you want to do some managing, and by that I mean creating new groups or editing members, this is one easy place to do it from. So if I wanted to add, edit the learning spaces, this is where you can do different things about it. Members, what files are in it, and the various options. This is where, for example, you might want to decide whether or not to run it as a website or just as a, um, as a folder structure. So that's the managing for classes, learning spaces, and friends groups. Um, your files area, sorry, which is also mentioned down here. Um, the files area, my files, is exactly what it says. It's your repository of stuff. This is where you can upload things to. Um, this is private to you, but you can also, you can repurpose any of the stuff you put in here. You can in, use in other documents and other areas of the system, but this is private to you. So that's the files area. Um, just going on the important ones for now. Communicate is where you will go for your messages. You'll have probably noticed messages does pop up. Your most recent messages will pop up on your dashboard. Um, but if you want to go to the full, um, the full messaging area, that's here through communicate. This is also where you gain access to the chat room function if you want to decide to use that one. Um, under the learning menu, courses um, is, I would say, a slightly more advanced feature of my learning that possibly it's worth getting to know the basics before you get into. But when you get into your courses a bit later on, this is where you'll access them from. So learning and courses. Uh, courses have a lot more of the more advanced, um, more advanced assessment tools. If I just was into this one very quickly, you can see courses has all these extra modules which you can use. Okay, so it can be very in depth. It's good for tracking pupils, um, keeps records. It's very good for assessment. And finally, across the top there, which we mentioned earlier on, was the options where you can edit your own settings, your own theme, if you choose to, or you can create an auto login to go on your desktop. Um, the main other thing I think you could do with being aware of, down the bottom, very useful, is the support icon down here. Now, there's a whole, um, there's a whole library of useful help videos, and these can be accessed down here. They're actually produced by My Learning, and here we go. And we've got um, it basically takes you to a YouTube a YouTube channel browser, but they've got the videos put into different categories. If, for example, you want to know about courses, this is the way to start here. You've got 22 videos there, um, which will take you through all the the different aspect, aspects of courses and give you a really good overview. Okay, so that's the um, basically where the most important things are, which should give you a good place to start.